Hello and welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survival 1.8. My name is Spanch. We're on our way to the Elyon system once again. This is a starter system. Uh, this is where we began this journey. Because at the end of the last episode, I don't know if you noticed, right as I was outroing, we got a message saying, hey, we're getting weird, weird signals from the Elyon system. We should go there immediately. I don't know why we have to go back to the starter sector. But let's find out, shall we? Who knows? Oh, it's murky Christmas. I thought they took this out. I thought they took this out. <laughs> Can I instead of the car? I thought they took this mission out. Okay. Well, apparently we're uh, we're having a midsummer Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, and uh, you know, happy holidays, I guess. <laughs> Cannot yet determine the cause beyond a doubt, Commander. What did you say? I thought you had just asked me to determine what is causing the unusual radio interference. We have been experiencing since entering orbit. Sorry, I was just thinking about that first Christmas party of the UCH fleet. You mean the party where you accidentally threw Vice Admiral Perez into the pool after joke of your dancing skills? Where Alex knocked you out for trying to scare her in a funny way? Or where you... Wait, please wait. The analysis is complete. But we're welcome to reminisce some more. What did the analysis say? The affected frequency band oscillates in a certain rhythm. This seems to emanate from the surface of the sun. That oscillations of a star make noise is well known, but usually the oscillations do not produce repetitive, precisely modulated oscillations in the form of a hexadecimal code. A very big coincidence in the big universe? Possible. However, it becomes unlikely if more than one star would send exactly the same message, and that is exactly the case here. There is another one. The other star is in resonance with one we are in orbit right now. We should investigate that matter. Open the galaxy. Use the system search and enter CONT R1895 in the field to find the solar system. It rolls off the tongue, that does, doesn't it? CONT AR1A95. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. Could have done something like a little simpler, maybe? CONT AR1A95. Was that, was, that, was that correct? There it is. It bloody was as well. <laughs> Uh, if you can't find it, if you can't remember it, then I think it does have its own territory blob. So you can always find it that way. Uh, that is 40, 40 odd light years away. Brano Beta. Damn, this 30 light year range sucks. But let's go. Signal received. Frequency is isolated and analyzed. It's the exact same hexadecimal code. Analysis of the frequency pattern suggests that the stars are singing. Singing stars. What are they singing? Not enough information, but there is a third element that resonates with the singing stars in orbit of the planetary system. Um, then let's go there. We are looking very low on pentaxid, so let's just uh, quickly top the old tanks up here. Fuel and O2. There it is. Okay. Oh, apparently we're all in a singing mood today, aren't we? All right. Where are we going? The planet in this system. But well, there is only one. Zeta. Seems unlikely, but we'll give it a go anyway. Um, oh, it's behind me. It's behind you! I thought we'd uh, just, uh, you know, Christmas time, panto, no? Alright, just me, fine. Sensors are detecting a convergence of signals in an area that is spatially interde indeterminate. I recommend scanning the orbit for structures or anomalies or approaching them cautiously for a closer examination. Examination. Alright. Uh, the five... The 54 NTA Relay Station, or otherwise known as the Santa Relay Station. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. I genuinely thought they took this mission out of circulation, uh, uh, like, back in January or February, because it was not Christmas time anymore. <laughs> it was just, like, maybe it snuck back in with 1.8. It got, like, reactivated. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing the Christmas thing. All right, it's fine. Uh, Santa transportation and relay station. Are you ready for this? If you haven't seen this before, prepare yourselves. Commander, the detected structure is directly ahead. You'll be surprised at what it looks like. There's supposed to be a station made of candy canes and wrapping paper. Well, well, well. The signal is coming from this station. Be careful when going in. Alright. Yep. I said to be prepared. Well, there we have it. <laughs> Somebody made 
Santa and his sleigh out of the blocks in the game. I gotta say though, it was a good effort. It was a good effort. Even the little nostrils. I appreciate that. That's fantastic. Very nice work on the reindeers. That's not an easy sort of block shape to make. <laughs> oh boy. Fantastic stuff. Alright, fine. We enter here. From out of the forest of stars, I appear. The console in front of us appears to be contain a holographic AI as the user interface. Since nothing unusual has happened so far, you should they should talk to it. The Universal Translator is active for safety. Good afternoon and happy holidays. Please enter the current star frequency password. Um. Jingle bells! Replace unknown term with Christmas. Good afternoon, visitor. My name is Elf. Elf Santa. Welcome to the many event logistical ventures facility. We bring the holiday under your Christmas tree. A message has been left for you. Christmas, elf. Interesting. Please play the message. Dispatch, a rather terrible mishap has happened to us. I am sending this at an unguarded moment. A Brotherhood ship has raided the station as we are loading the sled. They have taken my wife and me to a place that could not be more un Christmas like. We hope to be rescued. Sa as in Santa Claus. Yes, visitor. The message was explicitly addressed to you. Obviously, you've been very good this past year. Oh, it was? Is this some kind of weird joke? No, visitor. The message was sent from the moon of the gas giant in the system, so they can't have gone far. Quick, use the weapons in the red container. Use our delivery spaceship outside the door to get to the moon undetected. Please help us save Christmas. Who could refuse to help the elves? Weapons in the red container, huh? Oh, it's a Christmas shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> How Santa. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we'll replace our epic shotgun with the Christmas. What is this thing, right? Damage 150. 71 rounds per minute. It is It is the exact same weapon, isn't it? Yep. Yep, it's just the epic shotgun, but covered in... Does it have a different model? Oh my god, it does. It's covered in... <laughs> <laughs> fair play. Can't argue with that. Absolutely fair play. Red. Oh, there's another one. Assault rifle. Epic condition. Okay, fine. Epic assault rifle. Oh, hang on. Gotta check. Oh, hello. Yank. Come on. Get, get up the freaking slope, man. I can't, like. There we go. Fine. Can I have all these little bits and bobs as well? Fantastic. Alright. Let's go a looting. Sorry, Santa. El elves. Whatever. Nothing to see here. I'm a good boy, remember? I don't do things like loot people's houses or relay stations. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Alright, so what? We, we we get in this thing? How does that work? Oh, there it is. Look, there's a the little cockpit under the... Uh, there we go. Right. Okay. Um, wow, there is ho-ho touch. <laughs> Moving to orbit. Alright, hang on. I gotta refill all this stuff because it's completely out of fuel and what are you trying to do to me huh overload damage brilliant what a great sv maybe we shouldn't have the shields up <laughs> come on come on come on you can charge there we go Whew, nearly blew the generators everything's fine nothing to see <laughs> yeah sorry santa i blew up oh my gosh <laughs> well it handles like a sled Imagine how a sled would handle. This is it. Ho, ho, ho. We are receiving a position signal emanating from the surface of the moon, so the abductees must still be there. We do have a detector. This thing actually runs as an SV. I can't believe it. Jingle bells, jingle bells, I guess. I've got a Gatlin turret on the bottom of the sleigh. <laughs> I didn't put any ammo in it. Oops. I forgot the ammo. <laughs> I hope I don't have to shoot stuff with the SV. The signal is coming from a small settlement. Apparently I don't have any kind of bearing to. I've marked the position for you, have you? I don't bloody see it. Oh, there it is. Murky Hollow. 6k away, not too bad. Yes, yes, it would be on the dark side of the moon, of course. Um, welcome. <laughs> this is just my luck in this game. Hello. There's a whole little village going on here. 
uh, murky hollow. I wish this thing sounded like jingle bells when it flew. My only request. It sounds like the sleigh from Santa Claus, you know? That would be amazing. Look at this f***ing thing. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Trader 1. Okay, we've got to talk to the traders. All right. Hello, stranger. How can I be of service? One question. How do you get the exclusive sales location? I, I honestly think it's Providence. Far has always guided me safely so far and keeps his hands over my profits. You should definitely visit the great library and monuments on our homeworld for Christmas. It's quite an experience. Should I tell you more about Far? Maybe later. Hmm. This sounds like a cult to me. One question. How do you get to the exclusive sales? Well, that's a good question. It is a little strange. I was actually about to close my shop at Canic Station for the station rest period before Christmas. Then I got dizzy for a second and suddenly I was here. But why But bother? As they say in the guild, one chance a deal isn't it? Okay. Sure. Whatever. Wimber. Hello. How do you get to this exclusive sales location? When I find these mischief makers, Christmas party. Pow. They obviously drugged me, then dumped me here in this strange mix of far place of worship and Talon village. You can't sell stuff to the villagers, and the brothers will take you your mind without buying anything. I'll show the rascals from the trade academy what I think of such jokes. That's four weeks punishment in the waste warehouse at least. Yes, yes, punishment is a must. Uh, I'm not comfortable. Neither am I. You are... Why is your mouth open? How did I get here? <laughs> Uh, okay, medical. Hey, um... Yeah, honestly, no idea what happened. I've been wondering all day why there's not the usual clientele here. I mean, this still looks like the village I started in a week ago, but something different since today. Like, it's not Christmas, but something invisible and threatening is coming our way. Probably just the excitement, I guess. Threatening. What is threatened? Ida, does this make any sense to you? Uh, no, Commander. I must also inform you that an interference field on this moon is cutting off all communications to the outside world. We should speak to the village chief to get clarification. Yeah, okay. A very spread out sort of village. There's Talon here. There's Xerax here. There are UCH personnel here. It's minus 50, but it's okay because I'm in my EVA suit. Yeah, that was just probably a point I should have maybe looked a little bit more into, but... Luckily, I was in my EVA suit, so I'm not going to freeze to death. Um, Settlement Chief. Something lurking here. I can feel it. That damn brotherhood. What about him? Oh, hello, stranger. It may sound strange to you, but it would be better if you leave this place before you are trapped here. Uh, I'm trying to save you. You'd better think twice and get out of there. Death lurks here, or worse. But if you're really sure, give this present to our shaman over the temple ruins. He will open the tomb for you. Look around the village and take what you can use. And free you. Free us too. While you're at it, good luck. Noth nothing less to do. I, nothing less do I intend. What am I, Yoda? <laughs> nothing less do I intend. Thank you. One presence. Um, where am I going? Oh, shaman over there. There are all these boxes and stuff are free to open. But I got a sneaking suspicion. I won't be taking that SV back. Um. Hello. Oh, so you really want to take a chance. Although you must realize what could possibly be waiting for you down there. Very well, stranger. The elders be with you. I'll open the door. Thanks. Don't worry about me. I've got a Christmas shotgun. And everything's fine. Whispers. Interesting. Oh, you're infected. Sit down then. Giblets. Um, access tub. Lovely. Always want some broken food. Uh, broken food? Rotting food. There's a proper fridge just down here. I didn't need to eat that freaking ration pack after all. Look, I could have just eaten the burgers and such straight from the fridges. Are you? Can I talk to him? Can I talk to you? Apparently I can talk to them, but there's no dialogue set up for them. I guess I'll just kill them. How dare you not talk to me? Don't you know who I am? I'll show you. I don't know why I'm picking this stuff up, to be honest.
Oh, he went down like a sack of poop. Whoa, look at this freaking cave, dude. It's massive. That's kind of cool. Impressive. The scale. Don't usually get, like, underground open things like that in Imperion. So that is... That's cool. I like that. Oh, hey. Anyone there? Open the door. There you go. We'll open the door. Speak to prisoner. Finally, I wasn't expecting any more help. The villagers tried everything, but the cowl bearers only dragged us deeper into this cave. What happened here? A ship raided our orbital station just as the transport was being reloaded for Christmas delivery. Suddenly, everyone had a murderous pressure in their heads. I passed out and woke up here again. There were five of us in the station. There are more cages down there with my colleagues, and they're holding our two foremen by that skeleton at the bottom of the cave. Please find them and save them. That's exactly what I intend to do. Exactly. What I intend to do, that is. Alright, let's move on. Alright, we've got some medical stuff here. Look at this. That's alright. Hello, infected Xerox. Suck it. Clone chamber. Armor locker. This is as if I bring armors with me. I guess you could buy them. Um, where the hell do I go from here? Just down, I guess. Down, down, deeper, and down. I gotta, I gotta take the jump. Yep. The stairs stop here. So, yeah, pack enabled. This seems fine. I've got to be very sort of careful with the shotgun timing on this, otherwise I don't kill them in one shot. Like that. Not a good place to have only EVA boost. And... Didn't die. Oh boy. Alright, yeah, the shotgun was fun, but... Uh, I'm going to have to swap weapons right now. Why are the legacy here? They're ruining Christmas right now. You are ruining Christmas for me! Sons of bitches. Wow. All the way down there as well. Big lag spike on the old uh, scope. I haven't had that sort of thing for ages. Used to get lag, lag, lag spikes on the scopes. Alright, buy them. A level 9 alien bug. He's gonna need that extra firepower, I think. We seem to be okay up here. Everything seems to be spawning and sitting underneath us right now, so... I find that... Very tempting for an explosive weapon like a rocket launcher. <laughs> Alright. Just make sure we got full jetpack before we fire another round off. <laughs> Multi kill. <laughs> Mega kill. Whoa! Hey. Sounds like somebody's shooting at me. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh boy. No! Ah! I fell! I fell! Oh god! There's so many of them! Shit! 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 Parkour! 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 Oh god. This is not a good place to parkour up to. Oh boy! Level 9 Overseers! Yeah! That hurts! That hurts! It all hurts! Oh god! The pain! Oh boy, that is a lot of bad guys. This is bad. The lag. 
The lag is seriously kicking in right now. The frames have dropped. Uh, big style. <laughs> ah, ah, shit. I don't know, something just, Ah, what? I'm being spat or shot or something. I don't know. This was inevitable. I was shot by a spider. I think I'm be alright here. The lag, dudes. Come on, drone. Good drone. Good drone. Fantastic. We need to really thin the numbers out. So we can actually get some... Let me just show you guys what my frame rate is actually like right now. 13. 13 frames per second. And that didn't reload. Damn it. Uh, top, top notch. 13 frames per second. Yeah, it's really difficult to shoot things at these, this frame rate. Alright, here we are. Um, I'm actually just going for that. Maybe the prison cells will help us. Ah, more are coming. What the hell? Shit. How did you get up here? Oh my god! The spawning is infinite, I believe. Oh my god, look at that down there. Are you see that? Oh my god. That's amazing. The sort of crap we get up to on our event server. <laughs> we have about five frames per second when we do that as well, so you know. If only they fought each other. That would be great. Well, that was a few kills, I think. <laughs> that was definitely more than a few kills. Alright, I'm going to try and go for the prison cell. Over there, but these freaking assassins keep dropping on my face. What's up, mate? Alright, let's just go. Got this. Shotgun. Do they have to be level 9? Such bullet sponges. Right. I rescued one of them. That voice I can hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Can we get some, like, marines or something? Oh my god, what did I just do? Hi. Oh, damn it. <laughs> nope, trying to run through them doesn't work. Oh, brilliant. Hi. How you doing, big butt bastard? Bastard alien butt bug bastard. Come on, come on. Give me some jetpack. Jesus. This is insane. Fire! Damn it. The animation is complete, but it still says reload. Ouch. 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 Something shot me. A little freaking safe haven right now. Come on, let me use another bandage, please. Oh boy. 
We gotta make a run for these last two cells, otherwise we're just gonna be down here perpetually dying over and over and over again, which is what is already happening, of course. Um, but even more so, you know? Jesus. Bitch. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What was that from? Some big butt bug alien, some of the blue spiders, they will spit crap at me. I can't actually see it. It's not rendering in the shit that they're spitting at me, so I can't dodge it. Four of them just keep spawning in, dudes. I don't know what to do. I can't really go down there at the moment. Alright, rescue foreman, rescue foreman. Probably killed the foreman with all the exploding around his cell. <laughs> Bad time to fall. Another one of those things just spawned. This is bad. Right, we can get down there and open that and open that. Back to surface, huh? Alright. Fine, I'll stop trying to climb up there then. Oh boy. This is evil. Yeah. How the hell do I get back up to the sur owl? Being spat at by things. Being spat at by things. I've got to get up there somehow. Hit parkour. Hit parkour mag magic. Come on. Up you go. I'm getting exhausted. <laughs> ah, come on, man. Seriously? So close. To be honest, this helps me. Because it will respawn at the clone chamber. <laughs> Most of the deaths. In fact, almost all the deaths there were shot by something. Shot by spider, shot by alien bug, shot by dickhead, shot by ass. One of the many shot buys. Alright. i just been informed that all the prisoners have escaped safely. I don't know how. We must leave the moon's jamming field, go into orbit and report to GLAD so that the transport can be sent to pick up the other abductees. Is this all some like crazy sacrificial ceremony for uh, all the legacy beasties down there, do you think? It was, uh, I'm getting dizzy here. Whoa. That was ludicrous. I don't like it and I blame you. I blame all of you. You all suck. There. The lower beings show no sign of successful transformation. Who is speaking? Explain yourself. Oh, this is interesting. You can hear me, lower being. Most interesting. I guess the other lower beings were right, after all. Bringing you here would help my cause. Their elevation was obligatory, but well deserved. But know this, not the last time we will meet. Uh, Ida, did you record that, Commander? I assume you are speaking to an entity whose information medium I do not follow. However, the moment you ended, the hexadecimal signal disappeared. Something about an unsuccessful transformation on and other lower beings. 
According to the data, it could be that the Whisperer is identical to the spirit being called the Legacy or one of its local presences. On that premise, and that the entity has captured and transformed personnel from UCH Operation Phoenix Fleet, I could offer an explanation. I beg to differ. It is speculative. But through your success against the entity and its creatures, it may have had the idea of setting a trap for you to check why you could not be infected by the so-called Legacy Particle. This question arises, after all, we have learned so far, and due to the fact how often you should have been exposed to the particle. The bait was then probably laid with the help of the idea of Christmas. Apparently, the entity took the meaning of this holiday from the minds of possibly converted UCH members, found it suitable to lure you in. Fittingly, the cargo station in orbit seems to belong to a company that organizes shipments for a local holiday, a holiday that apparently closely resembles the earthly Christmas, which is why the Universal Translator had also referenced that word. But that would be an enormous amount of work for a lower being. The action was apparently neatly planned so that you would avoid suspicion in advance. Once the idea of Christmas was successfully planted in your mind, we still don't know enough about the motivations of the entity called the Legacy, but apparently you have aroused its very special interest. So at least it remains a possible explanation. The so-called Brothers or Brotherhood of Far seem to have a hand in this as well. Apparently the entity could not take the final action here itself. We should perhaps pay a visit to this brotherhood soon and find out what they have to do with the legacy. Yeah, there's a word or two to be said about that. Commander, the foreman of the rescued wants to speak to you. Please put him on screen. Hello, Spange. I don't even know how to thank you. We were already done with life. I don't know why the brothers ambushed us and brought us here. They have never been so far outside the territory and as far as I know I have never attacked or even abducted people. It's like a miracle that you found us and saved us. On behalf of Santa, the whole staff, my wife and myself, you saved Christmas. Not just for us, but for the whole galaxy. If you ever need help, let us know. I'll be glad to. It's the least I can do, but I am true to my word as San Thaklaws is my name. As a token of this, I give you one of my precious medals, which I receive every year for the col from the colonists of this galaxy for my services. I also send you directly some of our popular Christmas gifts. Please distribute them to your loved ones as soon as you're back with them. I wish you all the best and Merry Christmas. Same to you. Ho ho ho. 1,000 free colonists. Reputation. That will help. I want to see the credibility with the colonists. <laughs> my, uh, my reputation problems are resolved. Okay, we need to go back here and pick my friggin' ship up because uh, it's all the way lost out there. I don't want to ditch this friggin' sleigh. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I think, as I say, like, if it wasn't so low frames because of the sheer number of monsters, um, it, it would have been very enjoyable. I would have actually, you know, hopping around, freaking trying to pop everything. But uh, in the end, it was the rocket launcher, the MVP in that situation. I just needed that kind of unguided splash damage uh, to take them out. And that actually worked quite well for a time. Inevitably, I would have run out of ammo had I not just made a move and gone for it. Um, I don't think that they would have stopped basically coming. I think it's the infinite spawners, and it's a case of get in, rescue, get out without getting bogged down, you know? So much. Okay, right. Well, uh, let's, let's sort this out later because I'm freezing to death, and uh, I didn't put the EVA back on. Where he took it off. Oh, we're gonna get frostbite. It's chilly in here. Hello, back in the ship. Everything's fine. Right. Um. So there we go. <laughs> Christmas storyline. Um. It was good. It was good. Interesting about the Brotherhood of Far. Mm, yeah. Yeah. L associated with the legacy. Well, that's not something you usually kind of associate with the Brotherhood of Far. They're monks, but. Well, maybe they're not such innocent little beings after all. We will find out. Uh, right, let me just sort my freaking life out here and what the hell's going on with this stuff, and then we'll see what the hell we got to do next. All right. We are ex approaching the Brotherhood of Far. This is their home sector. Um, Bazmar, I'm guessing, is the home planet then, because uh, it should be called Parthix, but all the names are randomized and stuff, hasn't they? So we haven't got a mission dialogue come up yet. I wonder if we actually have to be in the planetary orbit. Discovered the sainted sector of Far. Read the Imperium Pedia for more information. Well, 
Um, Brotherhood of Fire. Bring peace to the galaxy through prosperity as far did and Parthics using the great wealth they will provide food, shelter, medical treatment to those who need it throughout the stars. Every member is a brother or w- women included. There are four ranks within the Brotherhood, several layers of seniority. Um, initiate, brother, elder, eldest. Lovely. There we go. So I haven't got any missions yet. Interesting. I know that the last thing that the PDA said was to... Well, maybe, maybe we need to go back to Glad. Oh, I think we did that. Um, here in Galactic Survival, Murky Christmas. Chapter can be unlocked by cl- completing wins and losses. The next one hasn't come up yet. Is that it? Mission uh, 11 was the last one? Have we finished? To be continued. I think that's it. Uh, I do believe that we have finished all of the missions available at this point of the game. I thought there was more than that. I thought there was like a 12 and a 13 as well. But maybe I'm wrong. Point is, I think basically the story missions are done. We finished it. Well, do I mean, see, do let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that. I, I thought there was more, but maybe not. Um, welcome to the Brotherhood of Far, ladies and gentlemen. I have toured the Brotherhood of Far and the home planet before, uh, both in vanilla and in Reforged Eden. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is a faction that that um, myself and and my community or the, this channel's community actually created. We created it. We built all the POIs. And we submitted them to Elion, and they built an entire faction from all of it. And here it is. This is the Brotherhood of Far. This is a friggin' massive planet. Oh my god, it's the size of it. It's very large. <laughs> it's going to make getting things around get around it very, very difficult. The main sites uh, that you'll probably want to check out, if this is your first visit to the Brotherhood of Far, is Temple Prime. The Far Archives, which go through the entire history of the Brotherhood of Far, things like that, is also a absolutely stunning build. And uh, these three should all be always be together on whatever um, whatever seed. They should always be roughly in the same sort of area. The third one is uh, Far's arrival here, which covers the origin story of the Prophet Far, basically. And all of these were built by the community. Um, and I had a hand in some of them as well. But they're amazing builds, and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the story and the lore, basically. I, I've covered it before, so I'm not going to go around and read it um, today. But basically, they're not POIs that you conquer. They're POIs that you tour. However, that being said, if you did want to make enemies with the Brotherhood of Far, Temple Prime is actually a dungeon um, that you can run as well. So... You just have to find the way in. Because <laughs> most of it, on the surface at least, is accessible. Like, is openly accessible and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend the Far Archives. Uh, built by Seleucidacor. Incredible build. Uh, filled with the lore. Amazing uh, structure as well. Definitely worth a visit. You can see what uh, the Imperion community can do um, when they're given, given a task or given a challenge. <laughs> they can they go, Make an entire faction. So, well done, everybody. Excellent work. This planet is massive, so I'm going to leave now. But as the story is complete, we have no more missions to do. We are free to explore and do as we please. The rest of the game is kind of just up to us, really. So I'll leave the question over to you guys. <laughs> what should I do? There are there are there are a couple of options. Uh, we can go stomp some Xerax, stomp some Legacies, stomp some Creel. Um, I would say the Creel and the Legacy are very sparsely populated. So I covered the Creel before in a previous series, and there was basically four, four or five POIs. They're still being worked on and stuff. Um, the Legacy are kind of the same. They have sort of things everywhere in the abandoned form but like actual legacy bases there's only a couple and i think they're only on the legacy homeworld xerax are definitely the most sort of fleshed out faction to sort of make war with um the tesh as well they have a bit of territory this sort of pinky bit over here i think is the tesh uh but at the moment i think they've only got like uh two patrol vessels and one base at the moment as well so again very sparsely populated there is, um, I think this is the Warlords, oh, it's Wastelanders. 
Wastelanders and Ark, two other player made factions as well. Um, Ark, I think Hecken and Wastelanders was the script, if I recall correctly. And um, so we could check them out. I've never checked them out before. We can make war on the pirates. They should be a nice, easy, fun run. And the legacy are all the way over there as well, yeah. So that's the massive Creole. We've definitely been through the Creole before and got sort of mostly owned well. We've attacked Polaris before and again, that wasn't very well fleshed out. So I recommend uh, we probably check out the Wastelanders and Ark and see what's going on over there and maybe blow them up. And then uh, we'll swing around and blow the Xerax up or something. But uh, like I said, I'll pass the question off to you guys. Uh, I'll let you guys direct the uh, the let's play from this moment. We finished the story mission, so we have our entire life in our luxury CV here. <laughs> so if we do go a combat route, I will need to uh, establish a base somewhere and I think start grinding out the resources for that combat ship and all the ammo and stuff that it's going to take to do. Um, so maybe that should be the first thing that we should do is find a nice place to set up a camp set up a base of operations uh, let me know what you think in the comments uh, that's going to be all for today ladies and gents thank you very much for watching i do hope you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you next time until then take care bye bye